How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm putting this off all bloody week. My weighted blanket has returned, and of course, I'm picking it up on what will be the absolute warmest day of the week. So isn't that silly? But I'm glad to have it back, though. The nights have gotten quite cool around here in Calgary, and I've just had my sheets, my Dixon blanket, and actually a cooling blanket. So we have missed the weighted blanket. $63 to clean a weighted blanket. Hashtag worth it, though. All right. Oh, excuse me, Penny. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Uh, ah. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> okay, so today is uh, a day of playing sort of run around, catch up, and little daily chore things. You can come along with me if you want to. If you're subscribed, thank you very much. If you think you're subscribed, maybe double check. There's been nefarious things happening around to YouTube, so it would be great. And if you're not subscribed, maybe consider it. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, if you've been around for a while, Lucky's been starting up fine ever since she was at the mechanic. So maybe it was just a gummy throttle plate and a bore. All right, so I'm gonna have my little girl overnight tonight. I asked to, to do that because I'll be gone next weekend on what could potentially be the final camping trip of the season. We're hoping not, we're hoping to get one more in after that as well. But yeah, I thought it'd be nice to have her overnight tonight. My cousin is actually out of town on a camping trip right now. Uh, so her house is open. We'll be going over there to enjoy some sticks and bricks luxuries. But we are completely 100% doubt of bubble bath. And I don't want to get in trouble from the boss. So that's what we got to pick up. Well, at some point, I was going to say first, but I'm also going to be passing Canadian Tire, and I would like to cover up the absolutely ugly metal patch on my driver's door. Like I said, day of picking shit up. You know what do you say this morning, little girl? We need to get some stuff done today. It's gonna to be the last nice hot day, so we're gonna to have to find some shade for you, at least until we get over to Lindsay's later tonight, and you can come out in the backyard, eh? Yeah. That's a good girl. And that protein powder drink was very tasty this morning. A nice way to sort of start the day. Unfortunately, since I purchased a $7 bottle of milk, it's one of the most expensive protein shakes I've ever made. But now a little bit of time has passed. I'm going to devour this pretzel bun and no regrets. Really, you had to pull out right then and there, eh, sir? Excelente. No good. Some people's kids. Oh. And gone. Delicious. Okay, so here's my best course of action here. Is Canadian Tire, and then probably Shoppers Drug Mart. Oh, unfortunate. This car in front of me has a penis on it. Hashtag sad day. Excuse me, gentlemen. Please remove your bags and take your receipt. Thank you, thank you for shopping at the Some people don't, some people are pretty off those, but <laughs> thank you. 
Now, since I'm here and stopped and I didn't have time to make myself a coffee this morning, I may as well do that now because I've got my entire home with me. Coffee in the Canadian Tire parking lot. Why bloody nut? That's done. New roll. Perfect. All right, and I saw some people in the comments saying that they didn't understand how this Myjo coffee maker works. And they actually used the word complicated, which I just thought was, was quite odd. Maybe I just because I wasn't showing it well enough, but it's very simple. The whole thing just comes like this, right? And this is just what you push down on. So, Open this up, you just twist, open it up, take your little coffee pod, that would be for your Keurig, stab it onto the spout on the bottom of this thing, just, there you go. Turn off your water before you burn your house down, that's a very important step. Then just take this again, you're just gonna screw it back into this base, which pierces the top of the little coffee pod down there. Put this on top of your coffee cup, or whatever other device you have for carrying your coffee, and then you just, Pour your hot water into this receptacle here. Now we just gotta push the water through the K cup or pod, whatever you wanna call it. I don't judge. Put that on, put the top on, and then you just you just push, right? Build up some pressure. And push that water on through the K cup. Very simple. You might have to let it go, let it build up its ability to be plunged, or whatever you want to call it, and finish it off. Done and done. And then this is the most important step. Take this off of your coffee cup and marvel at your coffee in your cup. Unscrew, remove the K cup, and throw it away. Or let it flip upside down on your countertop. Either way is fine. This is probably a bad idea. It's already getting so hot outside. Stupid summer weather clinging on. Although, next week is going to be quite nice and proper fall slash autumn temperatures. Uh, and I have a question. Why does fall get two names? Like, I get that one is an American way of saying things, and the other, autumn, is a more British way of saying things, rooted in Latin. But why does it get two? What, what, what's wrong with spring, winter, and summer? Hmm? Why are they getting left out in the not so cold or cold? I find that just a little prejudiced. All right. Oh, I'm gonna get this van going and get some air conditioning. Yeah. For those that might not know as well, I just got an email alert. Uh, there's a bit of an E. coli outbreak apparently happening in some uh, daycares throughout Calgary. And there's a possibility that my kiddo's daycare might get closed. <laughs> Great, here we go. What that ultimately means is that if they close, she's going to have no place to go during the week. Which, you know, normally it would be like, oh, that's stressful and what are we going to do? But huge benefit of her dad living in a van and entertaining thousands of incredible people. We might just be able to make that work. It's just kind of, it'll be a bit of a paradigm shift for how the, the week goes, but no point in worrying about it until it actually happens. But yeah, it's been a thing here for a while in the city um, with this going on in daycares and whatnot. E. coli, yikes, not the fun. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy my coffee here a little bit, get lucky, cool the F down. And then I guess we'll rip over to shoppers and I'll see how many optimum points I have so I can get some bubble the bath. I also need Q-tips. <laughs> All right, well, she, I just checked on the, uh, the PC Optimum app and there's not enough deals there for me to go and spend in a enormous amount of money on bubble bath when I can just go to a much more affordable place. I really got to do something about this rack on my solar panel. Super annoying. Well, you know what? Here's one thing I can do. Ah, uh, 
album squelched. And also looking at the time, I'm not gonna have time to get to painting today uh, as I will not be able to let Lucky sit as long as she will have to sit after putting three or four or 15 coats of paint on the door. So we'll save that for probably tomorrow, well maybe not tomorrow, maybe Monday. Um, just because I have to pick up my little girl when she's done her nap. So we're gonna rip over to the good old Wally World and pick up some groceries and that bubble bath and the Q-tips. I'm saying this out loud so I don't forget. And then we should be good to go to just sort of hunker down and, uh, and wait for the little princess to awaken from her slumber. Also, a couple of videos back, I saw somebody comment when I picked up a bag of pasta that I was making uh, for myself and my cousins that night, and they said, I cannot believe how expensive the pasta is in Canada. What you need to understand is it really depends on where you go and how highly they think of themselves, because then you can also find options like this. There we go. Now that's not such a bad price for 454 grams of Ducili. Ducili. Ducili Jerry. Needed to use the washroom. This Walmart is not ideal. Mm-hmm. Like seriously, who's getting so angry in a Walmart bathroom there? Boot the door off. Unbelievable. <sighs> oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so. Got a few things here in preparation for the weekend, or well, the overnight. Got to re-up the Rice Krispies. Little girl likes her cereal in the morning. Dinner tonight, gonna do pasta, obviously, with the uh, more affordable noodles. And I got a salad, put that in the fridge. Also thought it'd be nice to make some pumpkin cookies with the little girl, since we'll have access to a oven. And I got her some yogurt. We got the pasta that can stay in here, re-up the juice boxes. Those are always good to have on hand. And we've got pineapple for breakfast and lunch tomorrow, as well as some more blueberries. We got an avocado for a side tonight. Very good. Pasta sauce and pasta, and that makes it pretty well and done, except Walmart never has the Johnsonville sausage that I like to put, the Italian sausage, and that I like to mix in with the pasta when I'm making it, or well, with the sauce. So I'm gonna have to go to probably Safeway, the expensive noodle place, and pick some of that up, which is okay, because I need to get some water as well, and I couldn't, I don't wanna carry it out right now with that bag full of stuff. It is getting very hot right now. I don't know what it is outside. Unpleasant, for sure, but I'm really just playing the waiting game here for when she wakes up from her nap. So I think I am going to go over to the parkade at South Center, the mall, and see if I can just get Lucky tucked away underneath to get the yuck out of the sun so Penny and I, you know, don't uh, melt. That's that plan. Van life and in the city. Let's go cool the F off. Oh, I'm sorry, is the Rice Krispies in your way? There you go, how's that? Is that better? Is that in your way too? You're very picky today. What's going on with you? <laughs> How dare you put Rice Krispies in my seat, Dad? It's Saturday, so this might be harder than I initially thought it would be to find a spot to park in the underground because the rest of the parking lot is like bloody full. Oh, no, there's still spots ish. Now let's just start doing some aisles, shall we? Pull in here. There we are. That's pretty 
It's not so bad. It's right in front of a pole, but. Back it up, back it up, don't hit the curb. Pull the van in between the Nissan and the Tiburon. Lucky you a huge B, lady. You a huge B. Actually, wait a second, I wonder if I can get away with this. I'm not gonna try to F myself over being stuck in this tiny little spot. There's spots over here. Can I get my panels in the sun with the rest of Lucky not in the sun? That would be perfect. Mm, it's good to be touch and go. Hmm. Not the worst. Oh, right into this pool. Ha ha! Now the question is, are the panels getting any sun? No, not working, but that's okay. We'll still be nice and cool, right, Penny? You betcha. We'll as well put up the window blocker just so we don't get any of that obnoxious heat coming through the old windshield. Knock it out, knock it out. It's gonna be funny. I'm gonna get this all settled down. Lucky you'll be nice and cool. And then I'm gonna get the phone call. Ain't it always the way? Come on in. It's time to put away everything that sort of flopped all over the place in transit. Oh no, the Jeep fell down. Unacceptable. Okay. Maybe we'll have time to do a little tidying as, as well. That would be nice. All right. Sorry, Penny, you ended up with some fuses in your water dish. Hashtag van life. All right, the cereal here. Let's get some airflow going on in here, though. Have this sucker pull in. There we go. And we'll open up the back vent in a moment once I get situated here. So, yeah. And I've got this paint, so hopefully we can get to that. Maybe later in this video. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a video that spans a couple days. I feel like I haven't done that in a while, which is kind of nice. First things first, though, I'm very hungry. Hello? I need myself a sandwich. That's what I need. Oh. I love the city. Stupid people. Okay. Now, where is I get a bit of everything I needed? <laughs> I got cheese I need to use. I've also got some turkey lurkey that I need to use up. There we go. Keeping an eye on everything for me, Penny? Oh, good. I appreciate you. I'll swing around over here. Do I have bread? I do. <laughs> nice, thin wonder bread. Perfect. Make ourselves Turkey lurkey sandwich on white. My problem with deli meat is I always, I buy it and then I forget I have it and then it goes bad and I gotta get rid of it. Made a point today to make sure I get this in my body. That's a lot of meat. <clears throat> That's what she said. Okay, some, let's shake up the mustard first. The worst is that clear little bit of bluch that comes out if you don't shake your mustard. Mustardo. Oh, I need a knife. There we go. Very good. Same story with the cheese. Doesn't go as bad as quickly as the uh, deli meat. But, ah, I'm feeling frisky. Two pieces of, of the cheese. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Nice and simple. A tiny stool here. There we go. All right. Bone apple tits. And now we wait. Hi, Penny. <laughs> we got both fans going now. Got a pretty decent cross breeze happening in here. You can restock your cat food up in the cupboard. Yeah. Is that yours? Yes, it is. Move the treats out the way. Whoops. Good food. Ooh. 
Не так, блин. Не убери не так. Нет. Shoes back on here, and since the washrooms were in such a great state over at that Walmart, prance over to Safeway and use theirs. Grab some sausage and water. Okay. doors on the hinges. Ooh. That heat just hits you when you walk out. Hey, shake, shake, sorry. Got my meat, got the water. I also picked up these little sesame bars. I haven't had these for like years. They're so tasty. Little treat. All right, let's get back to the van because yikes. How is it in here? Oh, not too shabby at all. Pretty good timing. I'm gonna go grab the little girl now. Uh, can't really fit any water in there at the moment. We'll put those in once we get everything else out, once we're at Lindsay's. But for now, for us here, we're just gonna go sort of enjoy this time with my little girl and we will catch up in the next clip. Maybe we'll be doing that, uh, that door because it sort of really needs it.
All right, so it is uh, the Monday after that weekend with my little girl. She was a little bit of an artist, wasn't she? <laughs> Which is another reason I really like that paint that I'm actually going to be using today. However, wouldn't you know it, I got down to Fish Creek Park where I was gonna start uh, taking care of the yuck on a driver's door. Realized I don't have any more painter's tape. I must've used it all up when I was doing the roof out in BC at my parents. So I have to go get more of that, and then of course it's a double-edged sword. Well, not really, no, that's not how they, that's not a good expression. So I was like, oh crap, I gotta go get some more of that. I went to make myself a coffee and forgot that I had used up the last of the creamer. Well, where can you go when what you need is painter's tape and coffee creamer? Yes, I know there's multiple different stores that would carry those things as well, but it just seems so uh, appropriately topical, topically appropriate. Mm. I couldn't say no. It was sitting right on the clearance rack there. She's gonna look so cute in that. She's not gonna be able to wear it for much longer, I'm sure. It's extra small, but I like me some Zelda and I love me my daughter. So, got that, got that. I also grabbed myself some eggs because I was just gonna have some cereal for breakfast this morning. And then I remembered I only have a sploosh of that very fancy milk from Dutchman Dairy left. And the place where I get that, are closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. So, we'll fry up an egg. But first, let's get our butt back down to Fish Creek Park, get set up, and start painting. So I have to actually take the visor off, this like, whatever the hell it's called, window visor thing that I have. We've got them on both sides. We're gonna take it off, we're gonna paint the door. I don't know what that's gonna look. Plus, Lucky hasn't been washed in a while. I'm just gonna spray the door down. This car wash here has a nice blower to dry, so it shouldn't delay the process too much, but it'd be nice to get the side all, all clean and, and whatnot. So let's get that visor off and see what happens. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reuse them or not. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get them off just like with my hands. See so, yeah, this guy here, this AVS guy, I don't know. Just pull, like it's on there with 3M adhesive. Oh yeah, no problem. It's gonna definitely bring paint with it. <laughs> All right, we're committed now. Don't try, try to not break the visor, Matthew. Oh God. I feel like fish li fishing line would come in handy here. Oh, that's pretty durable. Yeah, I should be able to scrape that off and throw some more 3M on it afterwards. Anyway, let's clean up the yuck. Yuck. Here, Penny. Hold on to this for me, would you? Thank you. Okay, so that blower uh, kind of sucked. Didn't really get it. I gave it a wipe down with some uh, microfiber towels. We still got some leaking happening here from the roof rack, which is super annoying. That's okay, I got a nice little spot here. Uh, I'll get to that soon. After I finish dropping my keys on the ground. But I'm gonna let uh, the air do its thing and just sort of dry her out a little bit more before we get to that. <laughs> uh, kiddo. 
Uh, and I'm gonna make myself some eggs first. That is that plan. It is a very nice day today. This this is Matthew weather. This is fall weather. We are nice and overcast, which you know sucks for solar charge, but that's fine. It's not too hot. I can wear my favorite shirts. The shirts are they still called shirts? Long sleeve shirts, I guess. Long sleeve button ups. Flannels. And yeah, I'm gonna whip out the cooktop and we're gonna make up some chicken embryos. That's a disgusting way to say that. Nailed it. And instead of making a mess and running cables all through doors and windows and stuff, we're just going to come down here. Stop breaking the law, asshole. Some people's kids. And down here, we're going to turn on the EcoFlow. Where is the button? There it is. Nice. Then we come back out here. We will let's detach these cables. Ooh, this one. Plug her in to here. Perfect. Then we can throw this and underneath. Ooh, I really flung it. Come here, you. Now our sander should have power from the generator. <laughs> Probably gonna need a new piece of uh, sandpaper, so. I'm just gonna take care of business here. This is, I've done this multiple times. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I'm in the 
ever ongoing struggle to get the entire van painted in this rocker guard spray. And this is the task for today. So we just gonna do it. Tape has decided to make a bunch of music. Ha <laughs> ha! And there she be. Ignore this. There is a tiny little spot I missed. And now I'm gonna have to go buy one more can just to fix that. So slap some more tape on there. I'll go get that on my way. Probably down to Walmart tonight. Eh, it is what it is. It's uh it's painting the house out in the wild. <laughs> but it's done. The majority of that bare metal is covered up. I think the door looks darn good like that. I am not complaining. One iota. Yes, sir. All right, you guys. I'm going to leave this one here until the next one. Just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. And remember, only dead fish go with the flow.